In this part, we are going to talk about the deployment of the server side and also the client side of the applications. And in the previous part, we already create a client and also the server side, and which is here. And first, we are going to deploy the back end to the Heroku and also deploy the front end to the Netify. So now we first go to log in the Heroku. And then we can go to create a new app. And we can call this, we add express and calls concurrent because it is a previous tutorial name. So we may change this to another name. So we create this app. And after you create the app, it will show how to install the Heroku and also how to deploy your application. So first you have to install the Heroku CLI. So to install this, you can follow these instructions to install the Heroku. So after that, we can go to the project. And if we go to the terminal, we already inside the project. And then the next part is we are going to push this to the Heroku. So first we have to make some changes. So first go back to the package.json. We have to add a start to the script. So we add a start and then note server.js. And next we are going to add a pod file. And then we add a worker and then note server.js. And we add this file is to let the Heroku know that you are working with Node.js and as we are not working with web, we are working with a server, so we put this as worker. And then back to the server.js, we want to add a another route, so which is app.get forward slash, and this is make us more convenient to check whether the server has start. So the request response, and we just want to return the response with hello world and also since we are going to deploy to the real server not a local host so we have to add the process dot env dot port and actually we do not need to put the node modules and also the client folders so you can see we do not have the node modules here because we are just cloned from the github so we have to use npm install to install the package. So now we can go to the terminal and first we have to init the git repository and actually we are just following these instructions. So we type git init and then we git add and then we type git commit first commit and then we need to add this remote repository. So we haven't logged in, so we have to type log out first because we used another account and then we use log in. And now we already log in so we can push to the remote repository again. And we can also see it if we want to make some changes, we just need to follow this instruction. We add all the things and commit it. And then we push this to the Heroku master. Now if we go to the settings and click on the link, you can see the hello world and which means the server has started. And if we go to slash greeting, we can see it returns the JSON. So which means the API also works. So now we are going to deploy the front end. So we have to go to the Netify. But first we are going to copy this link and paste to our project. And because now for the front end, we do not need this localhost endpoint because we are going to use the real link. So we have to correct this before pushing this to the Netify. So now we have to go to the Netify. So now we can log in and log in with GitHub. Now before we use the Netify, we have to install the Netify. And then we can check whether we have the Netify by using this command. So if you already installed the Netify, we can go to the client folder by using cd client. And then we are going to build a React app. So we have to run npm run build. Because based on here, you can see it has the script of build. We have to use npm install first because this is just clone from the git. 
and then we use npm run build to build a React app and then we type netify deploy and then this will ask you a few questions and then which folder we are going to publish and we are going to publish by using the build folder so we type dog forward slash and build now after it already built we can go to click on this and then we can see the app and this word is from our app.js and we have typed the app here and if it already okay we can see the json we turned from the server so we can check from our developer console you can see inside the developer console there is an object and the object is greeting hello and this is coming from the server.js so this is how to publish the server and also the client